Okay, we've got another integral from MIT 2025, regular season 13. We have the integral of square root of x squared minus 1 dx. Okay, it's kind of crazy how plain this looks. It feels like a very routine integral that you'd get in class, but let's just see if I can do it using straightforward methods. So I'm going to do trig substitution on it, substituting in secant t for x. So then, let's see, so our dx value is going to be just secant t tan t dt. The only other thing, let's see, for x squared minus 1, come down here. So for x squared minus 1, this is going to be the same thing as secant squared t minus 1. But that's actually the same thing as tan squared t. So we'll go ahead and substitute, plugging in our tan squared t value here. And then our dx is going to, is going to and our dx is going to be all this stuff. but tan t inside the square root. So let's cancel that, multiply tan t times tan t, and what we have is tan squared t times secant t, dt. But now let's go back to this again and plug in, do it in reverse, and so this is gonna be secant squared t minus one. Take this and distribute it, and what we have is gonna be, multiplying it out, now we're gonna have secant cubed t minus secant t dt. But then for each of these, I'm just going to use the formula. What's going to happen is this first one is going to be half secant t tan t, and then plus one half natural log absolute value secant t plus tan t. Now the interesting thing is the formula for this is really similar to this piece. It's just going to be minus, because of the minus here, natural log secant t plus tan t. But now we've got a half of this thing here and minus one of it here. So I can put these together and get a minus one half. So the way I can consolidate it is let's make this a minus sign and just get rid of this right here. Now we're almost done, but I just need to back substitute to finish it off. Let me make a little space here. For the secant t, we already have that value. It's gonna be x. And now for the tan t value, Let's just do, instead of drawing the triangle, it really doesn't matter, but let's do it this way instead. We've got this formula, tan squared t equals secant squared, secant squared minus one. If I take a square root on both sides, I have isolated tan t, but then secant is gonna be x, so I can write this as x squared minus one. So with this, now we've got everything we need to back substitute. So we have one half, secant is gonna be x, tan is going to be square root x squared minus 1. Let's see if I can squeeze this all in. We got minus 1 half natural log. Then we're going to have an x plus square root x squared minus 1. Again, secant is going to be x plus square root x squared minus 1. Add a plus c on there, and that's it. Okay, there you go. Kind of a routine problem from MIT 2025. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.